Let me show you this fun way to create a sample slicing chopping effect in Absinthe. So I'm going to start from scratch, load in a new preset, and in the patch section here, I'm going to switch this single oscillator to sample engine mode. Let's have a quick listen to the sample I'm working with. If you like that sample, you can check out the entire pack on Splice. But for now, let's head back to Absinthe and load in that sample. So this is the sample. For some reason, the waveform is not appearing, but it should play back. I believe because the initial part of the waveform or initial part of the sample is pretty quiet. If I offset the start point, yeah, we can hear that. And of course, playing different notes will also transpose it. All right, now I could actually modulate this sample start position and that could lead to a similar effect, though moving it with the mouse creates this really weird zipper effect. Also, I wanna make sure that this is in stereo mode because the original sample is stereo. There we go, that's working well. We have a looping functionality that can loop certain parts of the sample. This also works well, but what I'm gonna show you is in the envelope section, we can create a new envelope for that module, and there's a parameter called oscillator A sample jump. We can assign that to a new envelope. So let's expand the number of steps on this envelope by clicking on transform here and expand to rhythm. And let's say uh, six steps. Yeah, we have six total beats. Actually, let's make it eight, nice and even. Well, six is also even, but <laughs> eight makes more sense in four, four maybe. All right, so right now nothing's happening because for each segment, we're triggering that beginning portion of the sample, which is silent. But if I click and drag here, look at that. There's the waveform. Click and drag again to find a different portion. So you can just scrub through and find parts of the audio that make sense. It's a little soft. Let's add some volume. Another way to increase volume is to load in the wave shaper. And in the main section, you can turn on the input so it's not too distorted. And the mix, we have volume here as well. That actually sounds really nice. Let's actually loop that envelope. We have a loop option here. Yeah, very fun and almost every idea that I'm creating here sounds very musical. All right, let's expand on this idea. Let's say I like this sound. I want to transpose this in a musical way. So here's what we'll do. Let's assign an envelope to transpose, right click, create a new envelope. So now we have a new envelope. We can do the same thing. Click in the background and create a rhythm. Yeah, we have all the same settings from earlier. Hit apply. Now, here's a weird thing with Absence Envelope. So the highest here, you can see the transpose is set to zero, but I can bring it down all the way down to like negative 128. Now, I want to go higher. So here's a little trick. I will set the transposition over here to 12. So the highest value will be 12. All right, so when I click over here, you can see the highest is 12. And of course, I can bring it down. Now, these numbers you can actually type in here. So let's say if I type in zero, Let's start with zero, so I'll click over here, set that to zero, double click, type in zero. Uh, let's also loop this. And if you don't want that very dramatic transition, uh, you can turn off from slope to a step. Let's do the same over here, same here. <laughs> Let's try going down. Maybe let's set this to negative 12. So I'm just selecting octaves. Yeah, that was a bit too low. All right, so 
Give that the highest. Let's try this one. Set that to zero. That's not a nice a little pitch glide. Let's set this to zero as well. Set that to a step. I want to go back here and make further subdivisions. The grid is set to an eighth node, but we can switch to a sixteenth. And you can lock, make sure the lock thing is on. So when I add a step, only that one gets affected. You can click and drag here to zoom in. That sounds kind of fun. If you want to change the pitch of that, let's change this. Oh, it already is 16th, so let's double click to add. You can actually see both at the same time by holding down shift. So kind of see in relation. You set that to 12. Oh, how about negative 12? Maybe too much. Let's say it to 12. We can add some effects. Let's add. Let's add the etherizer. Yeah, that by itself sounds pretty cool. All right, a lot of fun. Hope that was helpful. Stay tuned for a lot more Absinthe 6 videos.